Today, British Prime Minister Theresa May offered to resign if once she delivers Brexit, the plan to sever ties between the UK and Europe, there's a lot at stake amid this ongoing British drama, including the future of Ireland. And as Stephanie Lydon tells us, for some Boston area residents, the uncertainty around Brexit raises fears of a return to legendary tensions between North and South. So in your cover letter, you, you want to stand out a little bit. These days at the Irish International Immigrant Center, newcomers from around the world find help with everything from green cards to job interviews. You were networking. <laughs> but it was founded 30 years ago, as the name suggests, when a wave of Irish immigrants landed in Boston. People just wanted to figure out a way to get out. The center's executive director, Ronnie Miller, came to Boston from Belfast in 1995. I grew up in the 70s and the 80s where every day there were bombs going off and shootings going off. An age-old fight to unify Ireland felt like war. Yeah, so but 10 years fight. later, when Miller returned... And I was the director of the Coromila Peace and Reconciliation Center. Northern right. Ireland had Belfast, changed. Yeah, and this is my family arriving. Compromise led to peace. A key provision was the opening of the once heavily guarded border between the North and the South. But Northern Ireland is still part of the United Kingdom, and post-Brexit will leave the European Union, while the independent Republic of Ireland will remain in it. Pro-Brexit factions want a clear boundary between the two countries, a so-called hard border. And that's the concern, that the return of checkpoints between the North and South could trigger a renewed fight for Irish unification. People are really concerned about a return to violence. There have been sporadic attacks in the name of Irish unity, like this January car bombing in Derry. But at Boston College, Irish studies professor Oliver Rafferty says while tensions remain, it's nothing like the past. We're nowhere in the position that we were during the Troubles, and I don't think we are going to return to that simply because there are a few customs posts along the border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. But Brexit promises more change, and for a generation that's grown up in peaceful times, uncertainty. I always thought I was held down in Ireland. But now, Nave McAteer, a student at Ulster University, isn't sure. She worries changes at the border could not only disrupt the peace, but also the economy. She took an internship at the Irish International Immigrant Centre in part to make contacts overseas, just in case. If stuff did happen back home, again, whether it does or it doesn't go the way that we plan, we have another option. For now, her plan is to head back to Northern Ireland in June. Stephanie Lydon joins me in a deja vu all over again. It's mm -hmm. horrible. I, I know the hardcore Brexiteers don't like it, but there is a plan to keep the border open. Am I not right about that? There is. It's called the backstop, mm. and it would yeah, keep the status quo, which is it's like going from Massachusetts to Rhode Island now. No passport needed, no customs check. But if you look at it as the idea that Brexit is to create a separation from the European Union, how can you have that? if the border's open. So there's the conflict. I, I know it is pathetically understated to say that uh, the Brexit uh, debate is divisive, but when you talk to all these people, w did any of them make comparisons to the divisive political climate we've been living in in this country? You're nodding and agreeing. A familiar obviously. scene. The answer everyone is yes. Did. Everyone Absolutely did. Absolutely everyone did. Um, as a matter of fact, the director of the Irish uh, International Immigrant Center said his own family in Belfast is divided. There are people who are hardcore in favor of Brexit and those against it. And some of the same issues you hear around the you know Thanksgiving table in our country, immigration, uh, you know, tighter borders, those are the very same issues that are driving Brexit. So there's a lot of similarities. We've had people call our radio show who've gotten divorced because because of their disagreements about Donald Trump. Stephanie, thanks. It was great. <laughs>